All right. How do we sound? Sound great. Check Beautiful. one, two. Nice. Check. Check, check. All right. You ready? All right. You want to count us in? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Holy fuck moly. Welcome to another episode of Necro Electric. By the time this one airs, we're in 2020. 2020. Yeah. <laughs> I'm brand your host. New year. New year, new me. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Nah. New year, same me. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I've probably already ate all the leftovers from Christmas by now. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Well, welcome. I'm your host, Sean D. Skellington. This is my beanied up, beautiful wife, I haven't worn Kylie. Beanie in like two years, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, this is the girl who most recently touched Scuba Valley's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our uh, sound engineer co host, Jordan Chitlet. Hello. And today we've got a very special guest, one of Waco's funniest. Dustin, is it Ween? It's Ween. You Ween, got it right. I got You're it. Impressed. I Yay. fuck up all names. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming. Now, I'm yes, still, thank you. I'm still surprised. I, I was surprised to get the message. I'm still kind of shocked. I kind of think it was a, an error. <laughs> <laughs> we actually meant to text the other Dustin, right? but you know. <laughs> you ever see those stories, like especially around this time of year where somebody will send a, a stranger a, a yeah. errant text message and they show up anyway? Yeah. Like, no, people like, do like that. Our Christmas party. That's so mean. Yeah. No, you got a rep, dude. He's a funny dude. Yeah. Cool guy. Thanks. thanks. Came highly recommended oh. from quite a few people. I got to pay some yes. people. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Steve at the cultural Waco cultural uh, cultural <laughs> arts. Yeah. There you go. There we go. I got, you got it. it. Out. Yeah. All right. Before we dive into it, we have a goal of one million subscribers. And we're only at like. I thought it was one billion. No, million. Million billion. I'm Same not, difference. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> uh, Pretty sure you've said a billion a few times, but you, okay, you I'll settle for a million. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And we have a thing called Friends of the Podcast to encourage you to hit this fucking button right here. And Dude. this week is our buddy uh, Lonnie, who's in a band called Black Veil Brides, and oh. he wanted to say what's up. Yo, what's up, Sean, Kylie, and Jordan? I'm Lonnie, and your podcast is hella dope. Hella dope. So thank you, Lonnie. I actually know who that is. (laughs) Well, I hope so. (laughs) Are you a big Black Veil Brides fan? I have, I mean, I've listened to a few of their songs, but not fully immersed into their music, so... But I know who you're that supposed is. to say. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, I love them so <laughs> much. Yeah. Lonnie's gonna be like, "What the fuck?" I, <laughs> I listen to them while having sex. There you go. <laughs> oh, there you go. Nice. All right. What's our playlist. What's our theme today? The theme today is random thoughts. Random thoughts. Random thoughts. So I thought you'd be perfect for this. I was wondering what the theme would be. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now you know. Middle-aged white dudes, or <laughs> bottom, or what could it be? Well, we're get, I thought I'd throw some stuff at you. Me and her lay in bed sometimes, and we just ask each other like the stupidest shit. <laughs> and we, yeah, we, we ponder, we ponder the mysteries. Twelve thirty at night, like while we're trying to sleep, and we're just not sleeping. Yeah, we ponder the mysteries of the universe. What did I ask you the other so- night? It was something about bees, uh, right? I think you asked if bees pee. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, so you're, we got a couple of those for you to, to kind of get your uh, perspective on it, and then we'll get to know you and your origins here. Oh, all right. So on my notes here, if my first question was, do spiders fart? Wow. I think that's why I asked you. I think you asked me that first, and I said, do bees pee? <laughs> but yeah, I think spiders fart. I well, I mean. They eat, so therefore they have a digestive system. So uh, I would say yes, also that they fart. <laughs> right? I'm gonna say no. He was say, oh, no? Say Spider no. Man never farted. He was bit by a spider, but he I was at, he, he well, lost that farting power once he got bit by a spider. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Do they fart? Uh, I I don't know. We'd have to. I'm, trying, I'm asking have to the experts here. Prepared. Am I gonna have to Google this? To Google this. Probably. Yeah. Probably. I did look up this one I, in my next note. Do birds pee? And I did look that up. Yeah, you look I, that up and it's gross. That, they that's hit me they before, do I, I though. Think. Yeah. No, technically they don't. It's really poop. They, they have one. Yeah, they just have an asshole. So it's just so, clear poop. Yeah, yeah. The, the urine and the everything. It all just goes well, at the same time. 
Okay, so I would I would confirm that because my parents have geese and I have physically seen like the geese's asshole release the, the 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 shit and it was like everything all at once like and I wasn't expecting it I was like oh look goose and it went and I, was like, shit. I was like that was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen and it was just like he just kept walking on and I was like okay cool but yes I would confirm that you were correct on that <laughs> did I ever tell you guys I drop kicked a fucking duck or whatever <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. you've told me but yeah. I don't think you've told everyone you that? no <laughs> you know animal cruelty is <laughs> no, it was justified. Like in there's this park in Fremont, and there's just like thousands of these fucking geese and ducks, and they're they're huge because everybody feeds them, and they're super aggressive. Mm-hmm. And like I was at one of my little cousin's birthday parties, and I'm trying to eat, and this duck's like, bah, 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 right, like right in my fucking face, right, and I like push him, and I'm like, fuck off, dude, <laughs> and like they keep doing it, and then it nipped me like on my ribs. Oh no, it that hurts. Got me so real quick. Drop kicked it. So I got up and I just. <laughs> In the in a crowd of uh, tons of people, did it go? Hrah! Yeah, went. <laughs> fucking flew down, and then it got up and fucking ran off. I was like, "Tell your friends, dude." Fun fact: geese are actually um, they're only aggressive to like strangers. So our the geese that we have it are my parents have. They will be very protective of the ter- like their property and my parents. But like if strangers come by, they get very aggressive. So I just had this image of people coming to my parents' house for the wedding, and they're like honking at everybody, being oh, like honk no. honk honk. So I was like, oh <laughs> shit. Are they big? They are now. They we got them as goslings. So now they're. Uh, I don't know if they're full grown, but they're big now. Yeah, these sons of bitches were big, dude. Wait. Is a baby goose called a gosling? Mm-hmm. Random song. I'm never going to look at Ryan Gosling the same again. <laughs> Ryan, you little ducky. <laughs> you little ducky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, normally I'm like against animal cruelty, but normally. if one fucking <laughs> takes a bite out of me. Dude, I've been chased by a it's goose. It's on. scary. It's scary because they honk at you and they raise their wings up so they look bigger than they are. Yeah. And when they bite you, it's hard. Like because yeah. they have little little teeth in their in their beaks or whatever. So oh, I fucking know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. The ducks and geese by the Brazos. Those are ugly. I think they got mutated by the water or something. Really? Yeah, yeah they got gross and stuff. Ew. Oh, like that. Those was were it things. you? Somebody was on my Facebook uh, feed. They're like they showed a picture of the river and it was all it looked like all shit water. <laughs> Was that you? No, but oh, okay. No. Maybe it's Scuba Valley. Yeah. Shout out to Scoob. <laughs> I I believe it. For the longest time, I believed that that river was just teeming with dead bodies. Right. I believed that people threw I mean, their every dead bodies river in there. Has a dead body or two. In yeah. it. <laughs> I mean, they've unearthed a couple bodies. I think it was last year they unearthed or they they whatever whatever it is when they look in the river i forget what it's called so move to waco <laughs> yeah move to waco there'll be dead bodies on your on the shore but like they they the water yeah, yeah but they they pulled out a dead guy i think it was like last spring or something it was like i was like well there you go yeah, yeah. we're True. from san jose a bit yeah. Funny, there's yeah. dead bodies all over the place <laughs> <laughs> any then, encounters with animals uh the ducks yeah i made the mistake of trying to take my son down there to feed the bread to the ducks by the brass yeah. those things are super aggressive i almost had a pull over a Sean and kick somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have kicked him unless he bit me, and he bit me. So yeah. Did you look up if spiders fart? What was I the, did. Do, do they straight, straight from BBC? Oh, oh um, then you know it's legit. Right. Since the stercoral sac though. contains bacteria, <laughs> which helps break down the spider's food, it seems likely that gas is produced during this process, and therefore is certainly the possibility that spiders do. Fart. So wait a minute. It We're, says certainly the possibility. So nobody's actually like put a little microphone yes. out to a spider's ass and been <laughs> yes. and like waited for him to fart. We blame cow farts on global warming. Maybe it's been spider farts this whole time, right? <laughs> spider and bee farts. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Spiders yeah. definitely outnumber us. Right? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. All right, what else do we got in our random things? Why does quick why is quicksand slow? That's weird, right? Why? Right? Why is quicksand Why is it slow? Quick? And I haven't Sand. smoked weed in a long time. <laughs> Gotta clarify that for everybody. Just so you know. To be like, uh, these are just these just go through the head anyway. I hope there's thoughts, some so. high people watching this episode. Like, <laughs> we're blowing whoa. some minds. Right? <laughs> hey, we have that one guy who was talking about smoking weed and listening to Necroelectric. So this is for you, oh, buddy. Yeah, this for is you. for you. 
I think it has to do with the the kind of material that you're sinking in because like water is not solid so whenever you drown you just you know but in sand it's it's more coarse and you have more to go through so I think it's it's but pulling you it down slow? Have you ever been in quicksand? Do you I know if it's slow? It. I've seen, I've seen videos. Be quick. Of people I've that seen cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, watch Scooby Doo. I've seen enough <laughs> cartoons. I think I'm an expert. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, experts, take it away. <laughs> All right. What if uh, what if an atheist goes into court? Does he have to s- still swear on a Bible? Boom. Oh. Oh. Does that count? Only Shit. if he says it's against his religion. Maybe Turn your I fucking did. phone off. <laughs> I thought I did. Turned it you off. obviously did not. Who's blowing you up? <laughs> what, is that your girlfriend? No photo lab. Oh, oh. <laughs> got the photos. <laughs> and Greg hit me up earlier. Shout out to Greg Shepard. Yes. All right. Uh, I would say that you would have to indicate that it's against your beliefs or not beliefs. Atheists don't believe in anything. So what if you're a Satanist? Then you would definitely say it's against your beliefs, and they don't make you. Well, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, it's not like they're making you believe in something. They're just saying, like, swear on this. But it's not like it has any power anyway. Yeah, right? I know. But <laughs> it's just a random thought. <laughs> People lie in court all the time. It's not yeah. like putting your hand on that Bible prevents you from lying. It's not liar liar here. <laughs> and also, they don't make the lawyers do that. That's true. So that's true. It's not like the Bible's real or anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't want to get into that Uh-oh. discussion. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> uh, what else? Why does the Easter Bunny carry eggs? Rabbits don't lay eggs. That's it's fucking a, weird. It's pagan symbolism. Eggs are for, sh- I mean, um, uh, bunnies are for shagging. Eggs are for fertility. Guess who's an atheist? But why do they, <laughs> why do they celebrate that on a Christian holiday? Because um, the Christian religion is very fucked up in the fact that we allow pagan symbols to be a part of a Christian religion, even though it has nothing to do with it. A disclaimer: Because bunnies carrying an eggs are fucking cute. <laughs> All That's right. why. They're delicious. <laughs> the bunnies and the eggs in chocolate form, not like real bunny. <laughs> I've never had bunny before, but. <laughs> I like that commercial that comes on every Easter. Nobody knows Easter like Cadbury. Mm-hmm. Oh. I bet Jesus is like, what the fuck? Dude, bury me in Cadbury yeah, this eggs. One, this one loves oh. Cadbury eggs. Oh, dude. man. I, when I was pregnant, I was, Sean, go get me all the Cadbury eggs <laughs> they have. <laughs> is that a seasonal thing too? So were you out? Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. I, did, I drove like, all like way the fuck away. I had to go find a Seven Eleven that still had them. <laughs> yeah, because none of the grocery stores and shit still had them yeah. anymore. I don't really. I mean, I like them okay, but sometimes when I bite into them and the stuff comes squishing out, it really freaks me out. <laughs> what, you don't like cream squirting in your mouth. <laughs> Back to the kinky episode. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, but it, I mean, they are good as far as, you know, the actual chocolate and cream and stuff goes. They're too much for me. Like, I'll take a bite mm. and then I'm just like, it is very is sugary. Too fucking decadent. Uh, I you don't like sugar. apples. <laughs> <laughs> I love sugar, but that's too much. Mm. I had this random, I had this random shower thought the other day because I keep having dreams about being this famous actress. I don't know why, but like every in the shower. No, oh no. <laughs> I got her no. soap bottle. Thank, Thank you guys for. You know, I probably would have done that when I was eight award. years old, but yeah. um, no, I just keep having these dreams about like I had one dream where I was at an award show, and I had another dream where I was like on set for this television show, and I was in the shower, washed my hair, and I was like, what if when I go to sleep, I'm actually Actually going to an alternate reality where I am and a famous actress <laughs> and like I told this to Oscar and he looked at me like I'm having you committed <laughs> and I was like I don't know why I have these thoughts they just happen that's another random thought why is it that you're in a movie but on a TV show you're never on a movie I've heard it both ways though I've heard yeah, on I've heard a it. TV show and in a TV show yeah but it does but I see what you're saying though on a in a movie on a TV show. Right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't make the rules, <clears throat> unfortunately. Like when you drive on a parkway and park in a driveway kind of thing. Or you oh. or you sit in the <laughs> or you sit in the stands. Right? Yeah. Oh. Why do you sit in the stands? You guys are blowing my mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done this afternoon? <laughs> what is uh what does P U stand for? Pick up. No, like when people are like, oh, P-U. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, right. What the fuck does P-U stand for? Right? P- 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think That's it's it's. Start. I don't think it's actually like initials. I think it's like a sound like, like grr, P-U. like P U. I always think of pep- I don't know. <laughs> I always think of Pepe Le Pew. I do too. And he spelled his lat like it was P E W. Like oh, pew. Yeah. Pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> That's a laser gun. <laughs> this is probably the stupidest episode we've ever done. No, you know. We're blowing minds. Yeah, you said we were blowing your mind, so yeah. I feel like we're geniuses right now. <laughs> okay. Like if um if like a Siamese <laughs> twin buy a movie ticket, do they have to buy one or two? I would say two, they're taking up two seats. If yeah. not more. Do Turn they extra. do they share a butt or do they share <laughs> like yeah, yeah. it depends if there's on two butts? Yeah. <laughs> if there's two butts, it's two. It depends. Well, yeah, it so depends on what they're connected. If it's two heads, one butt, then it's one ticket. Yes, you're just paying for the if you're sitting the ass in, one in the seat. seat. <laughs> okay. Yes. Would but it be the same for you? Technically, two people watching the movie. If someone was going to go to one of your shows and it was a Siamese twin, but they had two butts and one head. How many tickets? That's funny. You think I could charge for a show? <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you become super uber famous after this. <laughs> I was thinking, do I have to pay him once or twice for coming? <laughs> but I did. I grew up with uh, Siamese twins. Did you? Yeah, they were uh, conjoined at the penis. Oh. We called them One Erection. What? <laughs> Sounds like a boy band. That was total. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that had my mind going for a second, <laughs> Well, I mean, I always think about like bigger people have to pay for two seats when they get like on an airplane. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Um, if you're if you have an extra body, you, I would imagine you'd have to pay for two tickets. Yeah. Maybe, but I mean, if you're sitting again, it depends on where you're there connected. Because if they have yeah. one butt, then it's one seat. Yeah, but you still have a whole other body, like. I still say I don't know. Okay, Jordan's stuck in a loop. She just keeps, yeah. she's on repeat right now. <laughs> All right, what if you get like arrested and <clears throat> you jump bail, but then you turn yourself in? Why would you should do that? You, should, you, reward, yeah, should you get the reward? Because at no. a certain point, you, there's a bounty for you right? to bring you in. And I if don't... you bring yourself in... Shouldn't you technically get right. that fucking bounty? I, I mean, technically speaking, mm. yes, but I don't think that they would. <laughs> There's probably some fine print in there, yeah. yeah. The reward can't be claimed by yourself. <laughs> but I don't know why you would turn yourself in in the first place. Well, if there's a $10,000 reward for, you're going for the capture jail of, of Dustin. With $10,000 you can't use because you're in jail. Well, you could use 10000 in jail. In jail. For legal fees. In jail. Yeah, you put it on your tab. You all right. buy all kinds of Top Ramen. I don't agree with this one. <laughs> top Ramen. <laughs> top ramen. Top ramen. Top ramen. <laughs> That's a lot of Top Ramen. I was, listening, I was listening to this podcast, and I can't remember which serial killer it was, but they were talking about how the police had caught him, and they ended up giving themselves the reward because there was a bounty on this person, and I was like, what? The, how the fuck does the that cops work? Got the reward? Yeah. They just their job? Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. already getting paid to do that. Well, isn't it the cops that put the bounty... Out right. on that person in the first right. place? Why would they get the... Well, whatever. Anyway, yeah, I just yeah. thought it was very weird. I was like, why would... Okay, whatever. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Anyone else got a thought? Throw them out there. That's like when Walmart buys life insurance on their employees. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, when they croak... They, this is true. When they croak, they get that money. Really? Yeah. What? They're I guess that makes sense. No relation at all. Just an employee. How? They'll take life insurance out on them. And then they'll cash in on their policy. It's crazy, right? That's insane. You know what really upsets me about Walmart is that I shop at Walmart regularly, right. but so I cheap. know how fucked up of a company they are, yeah. especially to their employees. And like every time I walk in there, I'm like, I know I shouldn't be in right. here, but they have such good prices on right. stuff. Yeah. Amazon too. I'm like, yeah. I, hate I know. Amazon. Send it to me. Bezo, <laughs> two days, bastard. <laughs> Jordan's gonna walk outside in the Walmart, fucking assassin. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, okay, I got you now. Nah. This, episode, this episode's never gonna air. Yeah. <laughs> Although I will say, their policy about checking people's receipts is bullshit. Oh yeah. Like I realize it's quality control, but the only time I've ever been stopped for somebody to look at my receipt is when my hands are full. Mm-hmm. And I've stuffed the receipt in my pocket, and I'm trying to walk out, and they're like, "Oh, can I see your receipt?" And I'm like. Here, hold my stuff while I get the receipt to check the thing that I just bought. Like you just saw me over there, ten feet away, buying the fucking thing. Like and you don't I, have to show them. You don't have to show. See, them. I actually heard a opposing opinion about that. I heard that you have to show them, or they can like 
refuse to let you leave. And then I've heard people say you actually don't have to show them if you. And I was like, well, I'll, I, what is that old lady going to keep me from leaving the store right. with my groceries? Yeah. Be like, no, you just can't leave. Move and, <laughs> <laughs> I just give the receipt to my son and he's in the cart and then yeah. they have to wrestle it from him. So, so. I just well, I want to know what they're what the, how they decide who to stop because like I'll see some people that go through and then other people that they stop like is it random I don't know it's that's well, they stop me like, all the time <laughs> I mean no. look at you I would stop you too <laughs> no so you know how they have like the the secret security that's dressed like yes. a normal person yeah we've been yeah. followed and no but we've only been followed in like Target we, we don't get followed, followed at Walmart, at Walmart. Unless I didn't notice. I got followed in Walmart. You did? Sure. Oh, I, I don't. Those dudes are not fucking slick at all, man. <laughs> Random old guy. I'm in the, the kids section, like looking at Legos with Bane. And then he's like, oh, I'm looking at these Barbie dolls. Like, <laughs> okay, guy. And then we go over and I'm, I'm getting, because I buy like Batman boxers and fucking. I have like a, all kinds of random fucking boxers and then I'll look over and the guy's like, oh, I'm looking at fucking jock straps. You know, you're like, <laughs> okay, guy. You know? I'm going to trip those people. Be like, <laughs> I mean, I don't care, but. Yeah, it's annoying. I, I mean, you don't, you don't even, you don't look like a shoplifter though. Like there are people that look skeevy enough to like, okay, that person looks like a shoplifter, but you don't really look, especially if you're a kid. Like that's yeah. weird. If you're wearing anything ICP, you're a shoplifter. I don't wear anything. <laughs> I'm just saying. What? Why? I used to work at Spencer's, and like ICP was huge at the time. And I swear to you, every single time someone came in wearing ICP, they were fucking shoplifting. <laughs> Did you know? Shout out the to book, the jugglers. The book that the ICP people wrote tells you how to shoplift. Jeez. There's like a mini guide on how to shoplift. <laughs> well, I don't listen to ICP, but. That's just fucking weird. Like, why? <laughs> I don't understand. And if you're going to shoplift some shit, shoplift some Dark and Jury. We've got an ad. Yeah, we do. <laughs> um, this episode is brought to you by Dark and Jury Clothing. Dark and Jury is an edgy fashion and lifestyle brand that embraces great design and unsurpassed quality. Dark and Jury has quickly gained a following amongst fans of the occult, horror, punk rock, heavy metal, and all around free thinkers and retailers worldwide without shoving a preachy, trendy, or political message down your throat. So buy the best, fuck the rest. Darkandjuryclothing.com Boom. Speaking of Walmart murdering Jordan, what's the difference between... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> at what point do you get assassinated or are you murdered? Right? I want to be I assassinated, think it's, yeah. I think but assassinated has to do with the fact if, if an he, assassin kills you. If somebody like you is, had a price tag on your head. Yes. But if you get murdered, that can be anybody. Yeah. Murder could just be like a random break in. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I, yeah. So the person that kills you have to be in a particular profession. Yeah. Yes. They have to be, <laughs> okay. you know. A hired hitman. Gotcha. I always thought you just had to be famous or important to be yeah, assassinated. High profile. <laughs> and if not, you just murdered. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I, you know, they're. I'm sure that there are still stories of guys paying people to murder their wives. So those people, even yeah. if it's just some random redneck in a pickup truck, he's an assassin now. You paid him to be an assassin. <laughs> so yeah. Shout out to the assassins. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. met one hitman one time. I told that story. Really? At a the tattoo hit- shop. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Was he was he getting a tattoo of all of his kills? Was it like right? tally marks? Was he getting like a teardrop <laughs> tattoo? Or? <laughs> no, it, it wasn't even my client. Like I, I had a guy working for me that had a, a substance problem, and he we only took deposits at our tattoo shop mm-hmm. of like two hundred bucks maximum, and this dude took a six hundred dollar deposit from this guy, Ooh. and I had other friends in town, and uh, the dude. Sometimes like you'll come across people and you you just get a feeling like yeah. there's I don't want to fuck with that right. guy. There's mm-hmm. something about that yeah. guy. He's too calm. He's too yeah. he's Collect. there's something about his demeanor yeah. that's somewhat threatening. The exact and, opposite uh, of me, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and he he was there, and then the guy took his money and then bailed on his appointment and didn't show up. Wow. And then uh, and then I tracked him down, and then he started the job, started the tattoo as a credible Hulk, like crushing a, a Catholic cross. And um, and then really? he started the line work, but he he didn't finish it. Yeah. You know? And then he scheduled this guy again, and then I was like, and I had fired that guy by that point, and I'm like, well, fuck, now I gotta like finish. You this have to shit. finish it, and you don't get the money. I don't get the money. I lose yeah. the you know the whole thing, and then the dude comes in, 
And like I said, like really expensive suit, especially for our tattoo shop. We had a street shop, you know, mm-hmm. so we're used to like just punk rockers and stuff. And the dude comes in, I give him his tattoo. I'm, I'm like halfway through it. Uh, his girl comes in and she's like crying and she's like, she's like, are you really going? Are you really leaving? Are you really doing this? <laughs> and then he was like, he's like, get the fuck out of here. And you know, she's like, I can't believe this. You're going to fucking die. Like this and that. I'm never going to see you again. And, uh, and I'm like, what's going on, bro? You need a minute? And he's like, no, 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 I'm fine. Just finish. And I'm like, all right, cool. And I'm, I'm doing my work. And then his phone rings and he picks up and he's like, he's like, okay, now I'm getting a tattoo. And he's like, all right, all right, let's go. You know, and he, he clicks it and then she's like, was that Vegas? Was that Vegas? Oh, and he's like, yeah, it's Vegas. He's like, he's like, hey, bro, a car is coming to pick me up right now and I got to go to the airport. He's like, he's like, I don't have time to finish this. And he pulls out a thousand bucks. Just gives me a thousand bucks. And he goes, I don't know if I'll see you again. And the chick's like throwing a fucking like whole scene. Hysterical fit. And there's like families like in our tattoo shop. Because we used to get a lot of families too that just get little like yeah. like infinity signs. Like all 20 of their yeah. fucking members of their family. And then there's like a family just chilling in our lobby. Like like with this whole like thing playing out. It's crazy. It's like a movie. Right? Yeah, I was about uh, to say. I feel like we just watched the origin story of John Wick or something. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you just got a Netflix deal right now. Yeah. He never came back and he paid over 1600 bucks. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. And we had to like tell that chick to leave after. He might be he dead. Did. I don't know. Yeah. You, you have little. little Ash- him. You got little <laughs> Ashley getting live, laugh, love on her arm. And she's like, oh my God. I think those people just broke up. <laughs> <laughs> it was a whole thing. <laughs> the Hulk crushing the cross yeah <laughs> what's the story behind that I have no idea. yeah i wouldn't even ask <laughs> that kind of person. I didn't. all right let's get in let's get to know you dude yeah, uh, yeah. now we're, we're done with my random my random shit <laughs> uh so are you from waco i moved here when i was three so it's the only thing where would you move from i uh, was born in tulsa oklahoma all right so place even worse than this yeah that's like it's where know. the tornadoes just beat the shit out of right the, the everything right they're super conservative up there but they do have medicinal marijuana now believe it or not yeah they do it's crazy <clears throat> like legalized marijuana yeah, yeah of all the states uh, it's oklahoma. oklahoma all right isn't it, what isn't that like um jehovah's witness or is it mormon no it's more that's not utah it's more like Baptist. Like Oklahoma's Baptist. more like the Baptist Church of Christ type Native people. Native Americans. And Na- <laughs> the Native and Americans. There's a lot of casinos there. Yeah. Oh yeah. You like go over the border and there's a casino oh, right really? there. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We'll have to check that out. Yeah. <laughs> right? So you grew up in Waco? Yeah. How was your experience? It was cool. I grew up in the south side of Waco, so uh, I was like the only white kid. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you go to school? I went to uh, university high school. Ooh, yeah. yeah, no joke. I graduated from Connolly, so oh, nice. it's it was. It, I mean, it wasn't. It was more diverse, but it was definitely in the ghetto. Connolly and La Vega, that's the same school, right? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> they're not far apart, but mm, you I know, can never tell them apart. <laughs> yeah. I grew up uh, only white kid. The self hate started early. Oh yeah, Aww. you rebelled against your parents, right? I was told everybody else Native American, like most white people, I don't guess. So. <laughs> I'm not white. I'm Native American. Aww. Except me. <laughs> my mom, my stepdad's actually uh, full Native, nice. Native American. He's, I'm like one sixteenth yeah. or something like that. But and my was, mom like keeps trying to convince me that that we are, but. Every every name in my family is Irish. Yeah, yeah. You gotta do one cover. of those DNA tests. Right. Mm. Twenty three and me yeah. sponsor us. <laughs> I know. We should all do one. It'd be fun. It would be fun. Although mine would just say, "You are the whitest white to ever white." <laughs> there you go. <laughs> white, white and white. Yeah. <laughs> Have Pretty you always much. been in uh, comedy? No. Well, uh, back when I was like twenty years old, I started off in an improv troupe, and that was terrible. Yeah, it was rough, rough, and then so I just hung rough up. because you weren't into it, or rough just because people weren't into it, or it's, it's real hard to do improv comedy to be good at it anyway. Yeah, yeah. you rarely see a good improv. <coughs> no, no offense to the improv people. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it was rough, and we always getting we were always getting booed. Our Aww, name was, really? <laughs> yeah. Our name was Trisonomy Twenty One. 
which is the medical term for Down syndrome. It was <gasps> oh, uh, no. Right. I was so you guys are setting yourself up. <laughs> <laughs> so we went up there. We were introducing a comedy. We did our skit, and the comedian came up, and he said, uh, maybe they should change their name to Try Comedy. <laughs> 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 boom, boom. I never did improv after that again. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh. That's rough. So about five years ago, I started uh, doing stand-up. And just fell in love with it. Yeah. Nice. Where'd you start, where did you start doing stand-up? So... Uh, True Love has the longest running uh, comedy show in Waco. Shout, Shout out to True, True Love. Love. Yeah, Michael cool. McBride hosts it, and he had a uh, local comedian contest. Yeah. And I showed up and won. No big deal. No, I just, I just won. 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 <laughs> no big <laughs> deal. I haven't won since. Also, I have to say, just now when you were like, I won, you made a um, Jim from the office face. Like whenever <laughs> whenever the like he like stares at the camera, I was like, oh my God, he looks just like Jim. <laughs> when you were talking about the improv, I was thinking about the office. Did you ever see that episode where or the bot the boss is fucking doing improv, but every yes. scene he just pulls the gun out? So do you do uh, stand-up at Classy Glass? Yeah, I haven't been since school started back. So another fun fact about me, I'm a first-year teacher this year. Oh, oh cool. cool. Congrats. What do you teach? Fifth grade science. Wow. Ooh, fifth nice. grade. Right? <laughs> Man. That's a... Why, what made you pick fifth grade? Oh, I didn't really get a choice. Oh, yeah. well... I wanted to do the older kids, and I wanted to do something. That's not right. I'm fired now. <laughs> <laughs> so fired. So, <laughs> I wanted to teach older kids. So there maybe you go. I could use my comedy and stuff, but it just goes right over their head. Yeah. Fifth graders don't get sarcasm. <laughs> yeah. I did. I did see you post something on your Facebook where where one of your kids was like. Uh, saying that you needed to get a new mom and you're like, I have a mom. And he was like, oh, I mean a wife. <laughs> that, that made me in, laugh. That was in tutoring, by the way. And that's why that kid was in tutoring. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mom, yeah. wife. I mean, uh, you know, I guess depending on the kind of person you are, it right? could be the same person. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's a whole you, you porn category right there. Right? Ooh, oh, God. <laughs> So what would you say is the hardest part about being a stand-up or doing stand-up comedy? Uh, trying to do it in, it's a balancing act, trying to be funny and edgy, but not trying to get fired. You yeah. can get fired? Well, if you're a teacher and you, they're always oh, busting teachers. Oh, 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 I thought you meant as a comedian. Comedy. Yeah, you can't do comedy anymore, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a thing. You just get banned. Yes. <laughs> it, your comedy is so bad, you cannot come back. <laughs> every picture at every comedy club in America. No, but yeah, this is a right to work state, and yeah. now I'm a teacher, so I feel like it's even more sensitive. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. So have you met any, uh, have any parents ever come to any of your shows? No, I've had a couple of coworkers, and I've had to change a few things. Oh no! <laughs> I've had my son come up to a. Uh, I have a sixteen-year-old son, so he came up to Classy Glass for an open mic one time. Yeah, mm -hmm. I definitely had to change my jokes because <laughs> I was joking about how sad and pathetic I was, and I was like, he does not need to hear that. He sees it every day. He does not need to hear about it. <laughs> We got time for it real quick. Yes. Um, this episode is also brought to you by Mod Ministry. Mod Ministry merch creates for the edgy woman, the kind of woman who works hard but plays much harder, who embraces femininity but tests the societal limits. We are not for the faint of heart. We are bold. We are beautiful. Check out the Mod Ministry Etsy page for handmade harness lingerie. Five star rated seller since 2014. Boom. I will nipple twist you if you say it. <laughs> Strap it on. <laughs> That's so funny. That's my favorite thing to do to I'll Oscar. Get you when you're not looking. Yeah. When he's annoying me, I just want to like reach over and just, <laughs> <laughs> This is the most legit podcast I've ever been a part of. You got some timers and advertisements. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we hold it down. Right? I mean, do you usually do them in like people's basements or right? kitchens? Yeah. Or, right? yeah. Yeah. Actually, I own a podcast studio and it looks nothing like this. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? I actually saw on your Facebook page talking about um, the podcast competition that you're yeah. having right i radio waco oh. trying to watch some new shows and okay yeah, so uh, you're organizing that mm -hmm. oh nice yeah, yeah nice. i saw something about that so yeah. what are the parameters for that competition uh just looking for a, a good idea that we can produce for free I had, when it originally opened we were charging uh hourly rate for anybody that wanted to come in mm -hmm. the podcast 40 yeah. hours an hour but now i think i want to go another route where 
just produce the best shows and try to find sponsors like you guys are doing. So nice. there you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You doing just video or just audio? Audio video. Audio yeah. video. Mm-hmm. Cool. Is there a what is the deadline for that? Uh, so the deadline passed, but we are oh, okay. extending it. It is if you got an idea, shoot it to me uh, right now. Basically, just on Facebook and uh, Instagram. Okay. I Radio Waco. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if you have anything, dope, check it out. Yeah. We've got our. Some girls from What's Your Excuse podcast that haven't been filming because they just don't have somewhere to film. Boom. Same yeah. Way. But they're funny as hell, so maybe I'll send them to you. All right. Shout, Shout out, out to, Megan to and Caitlin. Caitlin and Megan. <laughs> <laughs> I saw her at Coco Ramen today, and I was I like, Shout. I was like, Megan! And she didn't Megan? like... Megan? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? From that, from that Key and Peel. <laughs> and like, she didn't notice me at first, and then she turned around, and then she gave me a hug. I think she heard me, but she was in the middle of a conversation, yeah. and like Oscar was like why did you shout that like why didn't you just go up to her and I was like I don't know I was trying to be funny like I, I don't know I'm strange in public I see people I know and I just want to surprise them like scare yeah. them to be like oh it's Jordan so. <laughs> hiding behind shit yeah. <laughs> Boo. well that's tight dude because I know there's a lot of talent here in Waco right. and the, I was yeah. talking to Mike Hamilton from Oni Chan yeah, and it, it's, it's yeah, speaking of he oh I was trying to get the iRadio or I'm sorry keep Waco loud on iRadio Waco but only mm-hmm. Chan beat me like a day or so uh, <laughs> you can still interview them yeah. yeah they would be happy to come talk to you yeah. they're very yeah. cool people yeah, definitely a, a good scene is starting to brew in, yes. the, in the podcasting Waco so area it's very exciting <laughs> yes I think we're definitely on the explicit side of it, but <laughs> wait, explicit but or exclusive? Oh, the explicit. The oh, you meant explicit. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was like, are we exclusive and explicit, or are we just explicit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're exclusive All because right. you explicit. There, you go. there we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, like Scuba Valley should get one going. Fucking I'm love Scuba oh, yeah. and prescription. Prescription. Mm-hmm. Shout yeah. out to they, they are cool dudes. Dude look like me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they just, uh, Prescription just shot a music video on Sunday, and I was wa- looking at some of the pictures, and they're like in a warehouse, and there's people in cowboy hats, and there's a pig, and a giant snake, and all sorts of like cars and people. Like it looks. Pigs, snakes, it, and cars. It's epic. <laughs> It I looks cannot like wait to see this. Gonna be <laughs> epic. It's called trunk slang or something. There you go. Trunk swang. Yeah. Right. Swang. Trunk slang or truck swang. Swang. swang? Sorry, prescription. <laughs> <laughs> We're, We're white. so We're white. Google so that white. shit. <laughs> to see it. Yeah, I know. I saw the the, the little um, thing that Scoob made, but I can't remember if it was. Truck slang, I it was truck or gang, tr- truck. <laughs> <laughs> they did have those. some pretty cars in there, so cool. I am very interested to see that music yes. video now. So cool, yeah. I'm hoping that the stand up scene gets a, like a lot bigger, right? Yeah. yeah. Ever since Classic Glass started, uh, we were always trying to find comedians for our, our com- comedy show and couldn't ever find anybody. But since the open mic, they're just coming out of the woodwork. So it's oh, awesome. nice. Yeah. nice, good. We yeah. have yet to be to one. We need to go to one. Yes. Yeah. 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 We're trying to work it out. We have a like a two year old. So yeah. You can take so. them. <laughs> yeah. Our kids there. So Maybe. how does this Waco Awards thing work? When did that happen? How did that yeah. happen for you? Like what? That's Tell another, us about that. Yeah. Another thing I think uh, sent to me by accident. I just <laughs> an inbox one day from Austin Ray Nunn. Shout out Austin since we're doing shout outs, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> shout out. Always shout out. But yeah, they did uh, all kinds of categories. I thought it was a, a pretty dope idea. To be honest with y'all, they nice. had like a barber yeah. shop, a barber. Oh, yeah, super cool. They, yeah, cosme- uh, cosmetologist, is that a thing? Yeah, yeah. cosmetology. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so did you go to like a red carpet event or did they just tell you, hey, you're the best stand-up comedian in Waco? So they told me, uh, I got a message that I got nominated and they have so many days to try to get votes. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Voted on by the public. I was like, I'm never going to win this, but... Yeah. Surprise! Right? I won. <laughs> I won. No <laughs> big deal. <laughs> well, because no, you always see the stickers on people's businesses of Waco's best. Is right. that kind of in the same vein, or Locals is it? Love us and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just trying to get into that. Yeah, and it looks like it's going to be an ongoing thing. I was, I was impressed. It was at yeah. the Hippodrome and. The production value was nice. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You just yeah. have to wear a sticker they on your shirt. They should a podcast category. They should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They Actually, should. they did email. We did talk to them. 
Yeah, they said next year that they're going to add because yes. so many are popping up. Score. Yeah. Awesome. So. We're going to win it. Right. <laughs> in it to win it. No, but now you need to like... Watch your uh, ass, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't play. Don't play. You need a sticker on your shirt now that says Waco's best stand-up comedian. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you don't win the Academy Award, you still are known as the Academy Award nominee. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm true. Waco Awards nominee in front of everything. <laughs> Waco Awards nominee does the wings. Well, we're definitely um, going to do a live 50th episode, and I'm going to put together a, like a whole live show. Yeah. Sweet. Maybe we'll have you come and uh, perform there. Yeah, man. Yeah, that'd nice. be cool. No teach, no other teachers allowed. We want him to feel comfortable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, we're getting towards the end. You guys want to do some life in the comment section? Yes. That went by fast. Yeah. Wow, yeah. It always it? does. Um, the first comment is from Justin Miller on Facebook. I love Scuba Valley. So awesome to see him on a podcast. I also had no idea he was friends with Sean. Well, he's been on the podcast like three fucking times. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who wrote that? Just- Justin, Justin Miller. Miller. Shout out to Justin. Thanks, him? Justin. No. Oh. But he Thanks, must, Justin. He's got to be a Waco guy. You want a Scoob? A friend of Scoob is a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, then next one's from Ninkyo8932 on Instagram. Would you guys be able or interested to have Rick Glassman on as a guest? I remember when Griffin was on his show a while back and talked about Sean and Necroelectric. Your wish already, came true. He's already on our show. Yeah. Dreams do like come a, true. A month ago. Yes. <laughs> so go, go back, back like back a couple episodes. Yeah, like five episodes, dude. Yeah. They talk about boobs. That's yes, a good one. We did talk about boobs. Yeah, we yes. talked about boobs a lot. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you're technically our, our third he was looking at me he's like so you technically have boobs like, oh, <laughs> yeah that's it, I didn't even think about that yeah, we've had three comedians on so far really who's, who's the other ones one? Scoob? you got Scoob and then we had oh, Rick yeah. Glassman and then uh, you. and then Dustin yeah. sweet yeah. yeah congratulations save the last for last <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rico's best yeah I right, want to do some shout outs um, yeah, I just want to give a shout out to you guys because this has been the highlight of my week every single week. And I like it's a really great outlet for me because I was kind of in this rut of like, I'm not doing acting anymore. I'm not doing anything else. So like coming on the show and meeting everybody and getting involved with the scene has just been the coolest thing. So thank you very much. I'm so Proud glad. Loser. You're <coughs> welcome. <laughs> what? <laughs> I quit. <laughs> I'm gonna shout out Scuba Belly's nuts. Yeah, we've been talking about him this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> no, I want to shout out to Dustin. Um, I'm totally interested in what you guys got going on. We, if we can help in any way, nice. let us know. And uh, definitely check out his Instagram, Facebook, everything he's got going on, mm-hmm. upcoming mm-hmm. shows. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my mm-hmm. wife's new beanie that I got her. Oh, my it's so um, cute. early birthday presents. Yeah. Well, my birthday's passed now. But. So you have a wife, right? No. No? That's what we were talking um, about. He needed a new mom. I mean, yeah. so, so you have a baby mama, right? Single okay. ladies. Single, single believe though. it or believe it. So, so <laughs> slide into those DMs yeah. over there. His Instagram is set to private, but don't let that deter you, right. okay? Yeah, Just right. hit that follow button. He'll follow back. <laughs> he's got a, a state job, and he's funny. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Why are we pitching him? Let him pitch him. <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> you got some shout outs? Um, yeah, so I want to shout out a couple of those local small businesses I know Christmas has passed now, but, you know, shop local. Keep it local. Um, how about Black Daisy Boutique? Really cool clothes. Uh, Lady Anna Lumberjack. Really cool homemade um, wooden signs, and they can do anything custom with names. Hmm. Um, Monarch and Maple. They have a stand inside a Black Daisy Boutique, too, and they have some really fun, quirky stuff. A lot of Harry Potter stuff. <gasps> Oh, yes. I will definitely yeah, check so. that out. Maybe they'll have a wooden double door. Just because Christmas double is over door. doesn't mean you should stop shopping local. Uh, yes. Yeah. Thank you. I like that. Shop locally with Mod Ministry and Dark and Jury. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what about you, bro? Hey, uh, I think we pretty much shouted everybody. I want to shout out Keep Wake Loud, like you mentioned, since they Jacob came and on. Katie. Yeah, since they came on the scene. Chris and Naomi. 
they always have something going. I'm, a, I'm appreciative of it. Uh, you guys for having me. You guys inspired me. Now I want to go back to my podcast studio and try to beef <laughs> it up. It cool. <laughs> what, what's the difference between ours and yours? Mine is just an empty show. It's just white walls. Yes. Yeah. Uh, round table with, with that's just us like we, we can yeah yeah well it's hard like we couldn't rent this space to anyone else but that's what you do is you rent it out to people yeah so like we couldn't have this background for other people to like, <laughs> rent <laughs> right. you know it would be just wouldn't fit well, yeah Onichon, Onichon does though they do yeah Keep It Goes Loud has the Onichon banner behind it oh but so that's just their production that's why they should move to Already Wake yeah. Up <laughs> yeah there you go. but we're like self contained that's yeah, funny. yeah, we're doing our own yeah, little thing awesome. out here. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Dope. Well, it's been fun, and we'll see you guys next episode. Bye. Happy twenty twenty. <laughs> Later. <laughs>